Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add the Pogo Map bot to your Discord. It's a very useful tool for when people report, say, a raid, when a raid pops up, people want to go to it. Let's everybody know by when you add it to the raid to the gym, it'll immediately post in the raids channel or whichever channel you have it in immediately post something in there saying hey there's a raid it starts now it ends this time and you're good to go and then you can also we can also do tasks we can do spawns and nests so let's set this baby up so the first thing we want to do is we need to invite the bot to our discord server make sure you have a discord server set up have the appropriate channels whichever ones you want you don't have to have all four of these. You can combine them. You don't need them if you don't want them. But just for testing, I'm just splitting them into four to make it easier. And most servers will like it like that because it helps organize all the messages that are being sent. All right, so yeah. First thing we need to do is invite our bot. So go to invite. Well, sorry. First, you would go to alerts. My fault. Then go click invite Pogo bot. All right. So if you're not logged into the Discord app on your browser, it'll have you log in first. And then once you log in, you'll make sure you will need to be an admin to add it to your server. As I own these two servers and I'm an admin in my local Pokemon Go server, I can add it to either one. And since I'm doing it to my testing server, I'm just going to add it to my testing server. All right, so authorize. Now we have to make sure I'm not a robot. I don't believe I am, but who knows? All right, let's make sure it's in. Yep, there it is. Pogomap.info. All right, let's continue. Continue one more time. All right, so now what we're doing is we're going to center, or we're going to click basically the center of where our radius we want to cover for all our alerts. So for me, it'd be in the middle of my town, which is basically right here where the roads meet. Then you're gonna want to zoom out and tell it how big of a radius you want. So it can go all the way up to 100 kilometers if you choose so. So for like a, a big old region discord, or you got a list of region stuff, there you go. But personally, this for my community one, we definitely don't need to be all the way out there. So, I've already looked around about what I need. I like about around six, just because it gives us that extra little area just in case something cool spawns out there. Who knows? All right, then we hit done once you get the radius correct. All right, and this is where we set up our options for each channel. So. We're going to do the Rage channel first, since the bot's in. What we're going to do is unselect all these, because we don't need these. We only want the Raid notifications first. And this right here, by the way, shows you the address. If you want the address to show up in the message, I'll point that out here in a moment. And then we could also do basic alerts if you want it to be text only for people that dis disable the preview, as it says here. Text only for alerts, messages useful for users who have link previews disabled. Most people don't, some people do. So I just leave it off because I think it looks better without it or with or not text only. All right, so we have it set to raids only right now. So copy this, what it says here. Then go into the channel and just paste it in and hit enter. And there we go, successful. So he's already added it. I'm just going to delete these messages because nobody likes to see those. All right, next is tasks. Copy here, go here, paste that in. Delete those two. Next one is nest. Successful. And finally spawns. There we go. Good on that one. All right. 
So now that our bot is already set up and finished in the or finished for its radius checking for each channel, because uh, we can now do a test to make sure it works. So what we can do is we'll test out the Pokemon first, or sorry, the spawns first. And I'm going to do, let's see, we'll say it's Pokemon for spawns. And we'll say, since this is just a test, we'll say a Pidgey spawn right over here. Uh, we'll put Pidgey, scroll down, Pidgey, maybe, sure, it's a Ponte, why not, because I couldn't find it, and you don't, if you want to make it perfectly on spot, it's kind of hard, but if you want, since this is just a test, it doesn't really matter, then you want to confirm it spawn, it didn't really, but since we're testing it, it's okay. And hit add to map, and you can see it's been added. Added right here in the middle of the road because somehow I hit there. And if we go here, yep, Ponte spawn. You got your picture of Ponte there, you got your report time. And if you click on this, it tells you how long ago it was reported. And this is the address part I was talking about. If you don't want this showing, you can always disable that. I like to add this just in case people want to know exactly where it is. And then if you click the link button, it will take you straight to where, straight to the map and point out exactly where that spawned. All right, and let's try, let's test out a raid. It is like an hour and a half early, but for a raid, but hush hush. Uh, we'll do one right at First United something church. I don't even want to try. Oh, wait. That's that's a Pokestop, my fault. We'll do it at our First United Church of Christ. All right. We'll say it's a ongoing. For testing purposes, I'm going to put it as one star. Uh, Charmander. Why not? And since, like I said, we're testing it, I'm just going to set it to last a minute. Is. There's no point in having a last day longer. All right, let's report that. It has now been reported, and it should update. There it is, one star. Charmander with 51 seconds remaining. If we go in raids, there it is. Ends at 4:49 local time, which is yep, got up here pretty quick. Got your picture of a Charmander there. Very nice. Let's try a task now. We'll go here to the tasks. See, we got what's a really easy one. Uh, make five nice throws. Why not? Reward is an unknown reward because we don't know. And let's report that. And it's been highlighted as a task. Let's see. Yep, on the map it says that. And it tells you right here. And we go into tasks. And there it is. Make five nice throws for an unknown reward. And finally, a nest, which kind of hard to, t to test. But since we, I already marked all our nests in my town, but... We'll do another test one, and then I'll make sure to delete that just in case. All right, we'll just say there's a nest right there. And let's see, what do we want it? Ooh, I got it. It's a nest of Deoxyses for the fun of it, because I'm deleting it anyways. Add to map. Add it to the map. Oh. Ah. I believe... Right now, if I now go Deoxys, there's, I'm on, report it now, there we go. When you first initially set it up, it doesn't post anything, you have to re-add it to do it. So a nest of Deoxyses, sure. 
There we go. And like I said, delete it because that don't actually exist, obviously. And it's gone. If you ever want to check any info on these bots real quick, what you can do is do exclamation point pogo help. It'll list all your commands here. You got your setup, which this is done through the website. That's the part where it gives you the command. And this tells you where, which is where you placed it. Radius. So you can change the size if you want. And if you ever want to stop the bot from saying anything in one of these channels, you just do pogo stop and it will automatically pause everything. It saves your settings, but it just does not post anything else as it paused it. And then if you want to restart it, just do pogo start, and it will start saying stuff in it again as it saves its settings, as you can see with previous settings, save it, settings are saved. You can always clear the deleted, or clear up to 100 of its recent messages with pogo clear and you can always filter out raids using the pogo raid levels so we'll do that real quick just to show you oh we have to go into raids all right raid level and then we'll only want say tier four and five raids all right, so now we only see tier four and five raids. So let's just test that out to show you. We'll say there's another raid here at this for no what, no reason whatsoever. And since it only goes up to four, it shouldn't worry about this. Hitmonlee is there for one more minute, and he should show up right there. But does not show up here because, like I said, he's a three star. And we filter that out just in case you all only want five star raids to show four and five star raids or whatever kind of raids as it says right here it requires values zero to disable or each level separated by a comma that you want to keep and if you ever want to turn the raids on or off you can turn it on with that toggle it on and off tax the same nest and spawns you can turn your addresses off, turn the basic on. If you have any questions, you can always send, you can always comment, and hopefully I might be able to respond. Somebody else might be able to respond. Or you can always go to the Pogo Maps Discord, which is right here. I will also have a link in the description to take you straight to it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys.